Every generation faces its moment of truth. And for our generation, September 11, 2001 was that moment. On that warm late summer morning of September 11, 2001, Islamic extremists hijacked four passenger airlines, beginning a deadly strike against our nation and forcing us and other nations into a conflict born of radically differing ideologies. Two planes were flown into the World Trade Center buildings in New York City. It is reported that the firefighters climbed to the 65th floor of the first tower that was hit uh, in an attempt to put the fire out. If you can think of that, that's almost three Dominion Tower buildings. And one into the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia. The fourth crashed in Pennsylvania without hitting its intended target thanks to the valiant efforts of passengers who fought the hijackers. I was actually in the Capitol that morning and we had to evacuate the Capitol because the plane that ended up in Pennsylvania, crashing in Pennsylvania because of the heroism of the uh, passengers uh, they believed was headed towards the, uh, towards the Capitol. Whose stripes and stars? Uh, four days later, myself and seven other Norfolk police officers were at Ground Zero assisting in the rescue and recovery efforts. We stood next to fire chiefs, police officers uh, from all over the country helping in the area that was called the pit, which is where the two towers fell. We saw a lot of heroes that day, met a lot of heroes that day. Nearly 3,000 innocent men, women, and children were killed in the attacks, including Anthony White of Norfolk. He was on the 110th floor of the second tower. I spoke with him before it hit that tower after it hit the first one. And he was recovered, which we are so thankful, and we are deeply and sorry for those who have not had the privilege that we did to have their loved ones recovered. 343 New York firefighters died at the site of the Twin Towers that day. 60 New York City and police authority police officers were killed that day. Those officers, those firefighters, and those police officers had just gone to work that day, just like your police officers and firefighters did. They showed up to their shift like a regular day like they do, like they did all across America that day. And they answered a call that nobody could have imagined that they had to answer and they availed themselves heroically throughout the entire thing. I assure you that the heart of a Norfolk firefighter matches the heroic commitment displayed by the Fire Department of New York that day. And I assure you that they are ready to put their lives in danger to try to save yours. Out of that horrific tragedy, uh, came a great reminder of what we are as Americans. We have pride in this nation. With everything that has ever happened in this nation, we have overcome. We became strongest when we got together. And on 9-11, we came together. And the best of us is what came about. And the best of us must, must continue. And locally, we're blessed with a framework that we call Team NAWFOR. Public, private, not for profit higher education and military, all of us working together meeting regularly, planning, training, exercising as a community. Those of us up here are part of Team Norfolk, and all of you out here are part of Team Norfolk because everybody has a role to play. But out of that tragedy came that one uh, great reminder of what a strong people we are. Many backgrounds, many religions, uh, many different places, uh, but we come together as one, and that's what makes America great. And that's part of the remembrance, I think, when we do these 9-11 memorials that we should always take away.